Sussex is blasted for carefully controlled move against Princess Kate. A royal analyst has criticized Prince Harry and Meghan Markle harshly for their most recent action, which came just hours after Princess Kate's brand new photo of Prince George to commemorate his 11th birthday was made public. The Invictus Games, the passion project of the Duke of Sussex, will take place in his own nation for the first time since 2014, it was revealed on Tuesday. Birmingham won the bid to host the competition against U.S. finalist Washington, D.C. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. As all of this was going on, Meghan was photographed in Montecito on a laid-back dinner date with actress Kimberly Williams Paisley, star of Father of the Bride. On his outspoken program, former GB News host Dan Wooten stated, This is also pretty horrible. Prince Harry announced the Invictus Games will take place in Birmingham in 2027 on the same day that young Prince George's beautiful birthday image release by Catherine Middleton was made public. It only serves to highlight Prince Harry's pitiful nature. He was aware that it was George's birthday and that the photo would be made public. With the introduction of the Invictus Games, he hopes to take center stage. Once more, the gameplay is plain terrible. Angela Levin, a royal analyst, continued, saying, what a shame. Meghan seems to enjoy doing that, based on the several instances we've seen. She has to do something right before the royal family does anything, and everything is well planned. I've heard numerous times that she is really cautious, understands precisely what she's doing, and doesn't make mistakes. And I assume Harry was instructed to carry out this task. A royal analyst claims that Meghan Markle only has one arrow left in her quiver to stay relevant. The Duchess of Sussex has kept a quiet profile all year, yet her standing in the US, and the UK is still rapidly declining. Although Meghan's popularity with the American public has somewhat increased since her brand launch in March, it is still significantly lower than that of other British royals, including her husband and the Prince and Princess of Wales. In general, people think more highly of Prince William and Princess Kate than of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. In May, Redfield and Wilton polled 1,500 US eligible voters for Newsweek, and the results showed that only 36% of respondents thought favorably of Meghan, while 24% did not. Compared to February, when she was seen favorably by just 31% of people and negatively by 30%, this was a significant gain. Meanwhile, Princess Kate became the most popular royal in America once more, with 45% of US adults viewing her favorably and 13% negatively. Prince William, on the other hand, was liked by 40% and disliked by 12%, while Prince Harry was viewed favorably by 42% and negatively by 18 According to royal analyst Maureen Callahan, the Duchess merely has to write a memoir to catapult herself back into the public eye. It's been speculated for a while that Meghan might pen a memoir, she told GBN America. Meghan doesn't have many more options left to draw from in order to gain some significance. It looks like the Netflix transaction is done. I doubt many people will watch her cookery show, even though she is doing it. Writing a sensational memoir, would be the only other arrow in her quiver. That makes sense. The public's opinion of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle has drastically declined after their dramatic split from the royal family, and relocation to the US in 2020. However, Callahan claims that the Duchess faces challenges in maintaining her cultural relevance. She clarified, her cultural relevance is also diminishing, in addition to her declining popularity. A picture of Meghan and a friend shows her sporting a £15,500, $17,000, Cartier necklace. She seemed unable to interpret the room. The average American is feeling squeezed, and their top concern is the state of the American economy. This extravagant show is not receiving well.